Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm going over some watch accessories for the 44 millimeter Apple Watch. Now I got these off Amazon. I'll leave links in the description for both of them. Um, and I just wanted to show that they took some stuff out. It's really early in the game for this newer style watch. So it's kind of hard to find stuff. But I really wanted to get the watch protected. I don't know if you're like me, but I don't like having a bare naked Apple Watch uh, because of the job I do. There's lots of chances for it to get scratched or broken. And so I want to wear it, but I don't want to leave it naked out there. Sometimes I take this stuff off when I want to like, you know, uh, go out to eat or something like that. But this stuff is more for a work environment when you have a job where the Apple Watch could get damaged. Now I bought Apple Care, but this stuff definitely is some protection. So if you look close here, I have a screen protector and I have a case on the watch right now. So let's go over what I did to protect the watch. Let's go. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the watch band installed on the 44 millimeter Apple Watch. Now, the cutouts look relatively precise on the sides here. Here's a close-up view of the watch with the case on. And as you can see here, it fits pretty well, actually. The cutouts are relatively precise. I've done some phone calls and some messages with the phone, and the microphone seems to be working pretty well. Um, and I've changed the bands on it so I know that the bands can come in and out. It comes a little close right here, but they have not had a problem actually coming out. So one of the things I really like about this case is the button and how it's kind of got this design right here. It's, you know, not too tactile, but you know, you can kind of tell the difference if you either feel there, you can tell where the button is located because on the new uh, Apple Watch Series 4 the button is really flat to the side it's not protruding that much so they kept that design feature on the case and as far as on this side it is actually cut all the way out so there's there's no rubber and or plastic here to intrude on the uh, speaker volume so it's nice and open there and the actual rim of the device is protected by these little pieces of plastic that stand a little bit higher than the face of the watch and that gives a little bit of added protection. So the other thing I got for the watch is actually the uh, tempered glass screen protector. Now the Amazon reviews unfortunately don't look that great for this so I'm gonna open it up and check it out obviously there weren't a lot of reviews because the watch wasn't out yet by the time I bought it take that little piece of tape off and it gives you a installation guide a uh, Thanks for purchasing our product. Some cleaning wipes. I don't know what the hell that is. Some uh, clean off things. And then this looks like the actual glass. Another cleaner. Another glass. Another wipe and another glass. So it looks like uh, you have three separate applications for this. I don't know what the blue things are for. We'll read the instructions to get that. So this is kind of funny. This is instructions for putting the tempered glass on a cell phone. I'm assuming that they're the same for the watch, but that's kind of funny how they, they did that. Um, I still don't know what those blue things are for. But uh, yeah, these products are so new and it's probably direct from China. Alrighty, I had to take the uh, band off and I took the case off that I just got on there. 
and this case you do have to install with the bands off because the bands have to slip through afterwards. Uh, it is a slip over case, but unfortunately they, they have this here, so there's no way for you to avoid uh, having to take the bands off. So the first thing you gotta do is open up the cleaning wipe. This is a pretty new watch, but We'll just clean it off really well so that we don't get any bubbles or the adhesive will stick better, I'm assuming that's what it's for. Okay. Give you a lot of the, uh, a wipe just for a little tiny watch. But I think that this kit was more made for phones than for watches. So we'll try and get it done here without messing it up too much. Okay. It's like a little ridiculous. It's like a top. Alright, so let's take this little thing out. This is the cover. So it looks like the uh, tempered glass is covered on the inside or outside? Inside. So you have to take this off, I'm pretty sure. And then you gotta like line it up with the watch. that it lines up. It's going to come down just a little bit. And of course, so I've already seen a piece of dust go between the, uh, the glass and the Try this again. All right, so I had to drop it on there. It's there. Now let's see if this cover will fit with this tempered glass piece being over it or under it. And this is how you put the uh, case on. You have to kind of wedgy the um, sides over it. It's not exactly easy. It's a little bit, you know, stiff. So that's lined up. It's kind of lined up. That's not lined up. Okay. How I'm looking at it is I'm trying to see if this will line up here. And that looks pretty lined up there. And that looks lined up. That looks better. Alright. So I pressed in the code a million times, so because I didn't shut it off. Skills. as I can. Looks pretty clear. There might be <laughs> might be a piece of dust up here. No, I got it. Okay. So does it make good contact? That is the question. So as far as the glass uh, screen protector. It is actually pretty nice. I know that there were some complaints on Amazon about the protector 
not fitting well and not staying on. Now, in my case, the protector is underneath the exterior case of the watch. So this protective case is actually holding the uh, glass, tempered glass protector in place. So I'm not experiencing those same problems. Now I have not tried it without this case and I don't plan on doing that. I wouldn't utilize the tempered glass without this case. I would take off the case and the protective glass if it didn't want to stay on and just utilize it that way. And then when I wanted to put it back uh, before work or something, I would just put the tempered glass back on and then put the case on but I really like the case, I like the design, I like the uh, fit and finish, and everything seems to be working pretty well. I don't believe that the uh, tempered glass is impeding the display too much, so I, I am going to keep it on there for now and see where it goes and I will put it in the description if I find anything different or uh, you know I'll maybe do an update in the future to you know let you guys know how I feel about the product but as of right now I really like the product I think it's done well and uh, I think it's worth the ten dollars for the case and the 13 for three tempered glass uh, protectors keep in mind that I do have Apple Care on this watch and if it breaks I can get it replaced but I wanted to protect it as much as possible so I have the tempered glass it looks pretty decent let's put the code in so the code worked let's uh, try a few things let's go there okay let's put on a timer go to there Go to workout here. Okay, so the scroll works. And it's fitting. I'm trying to see if everything looks square. Kinda does. That looks good. That looks good. Let's uh press that button, that button comes up. Let's go to like now plain. Okay, relatively responsive. Let's go back. Go back to the main screen. Go back to the thing. Let's go to there. Let's go to Okay, it seems relatively responsive. Doesn't seem too bad on the uh, fit and finish so far. I will have to update it uh, after going over it a little bit more. But as far as I'm concerned, it does what it needs to do, which is covers the watch. Still gives you sensitivity and uh, fits under a case. And I'm shining the light just to see if I can see any imperfections also like maybe give it an angle but that's with the tempered glass on it so not too bad and it's got fingerprints on it right now let's clean it off one more time okay looks pretty good I'll leave a link for that also now the the reviews weren't that high, so we'll, we'll see. I'm going to give it a little bit of a chance, and if it changes, I'll leave it in the description if it doesn't work out. Anyway, guys, that's my video. Hope you found it informational. If you did, please click like, leave a comment, or subscribe. And click that bell if you subscribe so you can get my latest videos. Anyway, I'm going to get the tech out of here. Later.